Welcome to Socotra Island. I am Glenn from Travel with Glenn. Let's go to this amazing place. This island is like nowhere else on earth. It's a place where the plants and animals are found nowhere else. Socotra Island is part of Yemen. It's located in the Arabian Sea. The island is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Why? Its biodiversity is incredibly important. Imagine a place where the trees look like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. The landscape is strange and beautiful. The island has been isolated for millions of years. This isolation has allowed life to evolve in its own unique way. We're going to meet some of the island's unique inhabitants. Prepare to be amazed by Socotra's beauty. Socotra is a true natural wonder. One of Socotra's most iconic sites is the dragon's blood tree. Imagine a tree that looks like a giant mushroom. Its branches reach up towards the sky. This tree gets its name from the red sap it produces, called dragon's blood. This resin has been used for centuries in traditional medicine as a dye and incense. Walking among these trees is like stepping into a prehistoric world. The dragon's blood tree is just one example of Socotra's unique flora. Join us as we uncover the secrets of this island paradise The dragon's blood tree is shrouded in mystery and legend. Local folklore tells a tale of a fearsome dragon and an elephant locked in a deadly battle. As they fought, the dragon's blood spilled onto the ground. From this blood, the dragon's blood tree sprung forth. This mythical origin story adds to the allure of this special tree. The vibrant red sap has captivated people for generations. The dragon's blood tree is not just a pretty face. It plays an important role in the lives of the Socotri people. They have used the resin for various purposes for hundreds of years. Let's delve deeper into the fascinating properties and uses of this precious resin. The dragon's blood sap is more than just a dye. It has a range of medicinal properties. The Socotri people use it to treat various ailments. It's been used as a wound healer for centuries. The sap is also known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Beyond its medicinal uses, the sap is also a valuable pigment. It produces a rich crimson color used to dye fabrics, paint, and even cosmetics. The versatility of dragon's blood is astounding. It's a testament to the ingenuity of the Socotra people. This knowledge has been passed down through generations. The dragon's blood tree is more than just a source of medicine and dye. It plays a vital role in the ecosystem. The dense crown of the tree provides shade in the harsh desert environment. This shade helps to protect smaller plants from the scorching sun. The tree's deep roots help to stabilize the soil, preventing erosion. The dragon's blood tree is a symbol of resilience. It thrives in one of the harshest environments on earth. The tree also provides a habitat for various animal species. The people of Socotra understand the importance of this tree and harvest the resin sustainably. It's a testament to their deep respect for the natural world. Socotra isn't just about the dragon's blood tree. This island is bursting with strange and wonderful plants. Over a third of them are found nowhere else on earth. Among these botanical wonders are the bottle tree and the Socotran cucumber tree. These plants have adapted to Socotra's unique environment in extraordinary ways. Their unusual forms are a testament to the power of evolution. Socotra is a treasure trove of botanical wonders. Join me as we take a closer look at two of Socotra's most peculiar plant inhabitants.
Imagine a tree that looks like a giant bottle. That's the bottle tree, also known as the desert rose. Its bulbous trunk is an adaptation to the island's arid climate. The bottle tree stores water in its trunk, allowing it to survive long periods of drought. During the rainy season, the tree swells up, storing precious water. In the spring, the tree erupts in a display of beautiful pink flowers. These delicate blossoms contrast sharply with the tree's thick, gnarled trunk. The bottle tree is a symbol of resilience and adaptation. It thrives in one of the harshest environments on Earth. It's a reminder that life finds a way even in the most challenging conditions. Now, let's meet another botanical oddity, the Socotran cucumber tree. This tree is truly unique to Socotra. Its bizarre appearance is sure to pique your curiosity. The Socotran cucumber tree has a thick, succulent trunk, much like the bottle tree. The fruit resembles a spiky cucumber, hence the tree's name. These fruits are an important food source for the island's wildlife. The tree's branches are also covered in sharp thorns, providing protection from hungry herbivores. The Socotran cucumber tree is a reminder that nature is full of surprises. Socotra's landscape is a study in contrast arid deserts stretch across the island. But nestled amongst these deserts are hidden oases. These oases are bursts of life in a seemingly barren land. The deserts are home to a surprising array of life. Reptiles scuttle across the sand. Insects burrow beneath the surface. Even in this harsh environment, life finds a way. But it's the oases that truly capture the imagination. Palm trees sway gently in the breeze and freshwater streams meander through the lush vegetation. One of Socotra's most breathtaking landscapes is the Dixon Plateau. This elevated plateau offers stunning views of the island. Deep canyons cut through the plateau, carved by centuries of erosion. These canyons are home to unique microclimates, supporting a diverse range of plant and animal life. Hidden within these canyons are freshwater pools fed by seasonal rains. These pools are a lifeline for the plateau's wildlife. The Dixon Plateau is a testament to the power of nature. It's a place where you can feel the raw energy of the earth. It's a reminder that we are but a small part of a much larger interconnected world. It's a humbling experience. Socotra's beauty isn't limited to its interior. The island boasts stunning coastlines fringed by pristine beaches. One such gem is Kalansia Beach. The white sand of Kalansia Beach is like powder beneath your feet. The turquoise waters of the Arabian Sea lap gently at the shore. The coral reefs just offshore are teeming with marine life. Snorkelers and divers are rewarded with a kaleidoscope of colors and underwater wonders. As the sun begins to set, the sky explodes in a riot of colors. The silhouette of the dragon's blood trees against the fiery sky is a sight you won't soon forget. It's a magical experience. Socotra is more than just its landscapes. It's also home to a unique culture. The people here have lived in harmony with nature for centuries. The Socotri people speak a language that's unlike any other. It's an ancient language passed down orally through generations. Life on Socotra has always revolved around the natural world. The people here are deeply connected to their surroundings. They rely on the land and sea for their sustenance. Their ancient traditions are still alive today. These traditions offer a glimpse into a way of life that's rarely seen in our modern world. The traditional Socotri houses are a marvel of ingenuity. They're built using materials found on the island, limestone, 
coral and branches from the dragon's blood tree are all used in construction. These homes are built to withstand Socotra's harsh climate. The thick walls provide insulation from the heat. The roofs are sloped to collect rainwater. Every aspect of their design serves a purpose. Stepping inside a Socotri home is like entering another world. The air is cool and fragrant. These homes are a reflection of the Socotri people's deep connection to nature. For centuries, the Socotri people have been the guardians of their island home. They've lived in balance with nature, taking only what they need. Their way of life is a testament to the power of sustainable living. But Socotra is facing new challenges. The outside world is encroaching. Tourism is increasing. The pressures of modernization are mounting. The Socotri people are resilient and determined to protect their way of life. Visiting Socotra is a privilege. It's a reminder that we can learn a lot from cultures that live in harmony with nature. The skies of Socotra are alive with the sound of birdsong. This island is a haven for bird life. It's home to a remarkable variety of species. Many of these birds are found nowhere else on Earth. One such bird is the Socotra starling. This striking bird has a glossy black plumage and a distinctive yellow beak. Then there's the Socotra sunbird, a tiny bird with iridescent green heads and bright red chest. And let's not forget the Socotra sparrow, well adapted to the island's arid conditions. These birds play an important role in the island's ecosystem. Their chirps are a constant soundtrack to life on Socotra. As the sun dips below the horizon, Socotra transforms. The sky explodes in a kaleidoscope of colors. Oranges, pinks, and purples paint the sky. It's a breathtaking spectacle. But the real show begins as darkness falls. With no light pollution to obscure the view, the stars emerge. Thousands upon thousands of stars twinkle above. It's like looking up at a blanket of diamonds the Milky Way stretches across the sky, a river of stars against the velvet backdrop. Standing beneath this celestial display, you feel a sense of awe. You realize the vastness of the universe and the insignificance of our own world. Socotra, at this moment, feels like the edge of the world, a place of profound peace and solitude. The silence of the desert night is broken only by the gentle breeze rustling the leaves of the dragon's blood trees. It's a symphony of nature, a lullaby that soothes the soul. You feel a deep connection to this ancient land, a sense of belonging that's hard to describe. So Katra Island is a place that stays with you long after you've left. It's a place of wonder, beauty, and resilience. It's a reminder that our planet is full of surprises. It's a call to protect these fragile ecosystems for future generations. From the iconic dragon's blood trees to the hidden oases, from the pristine beaches to the unique culture of its people, Socotra is a treasure trove of natural and cultural heritage. It's a place where time seems to stand still. It's a place where you can reconnect with nature and discover the true meaning of wonder. As we say goodbye to this hidden gem, let's remember the lessons it teaches us. Let's remember the importance of preserving biodiversity, respecting other cultures, and living in harmony with our planet. Let's carry the spirit of Socotra in our hearts, a reminder that magic exists in the most unexpected corners of our world. And who knows, maybe one day, our paths will cross again with this island paradise. Until then, let's keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep sharing the wonders of our planet. Thanks for joining me on this adventure to Socotra Island. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Travel with Glenn for more amazing journeys. 
Travel far and wide, let's take flight. See the world's wonders day and night. From sandy beaches to mountain peaks, every adventure a memory we keep. Join the journey, share.